Hello and welcome back to my channel. Do you want to learn how to make this super easy picadillo de res? It is really simple to make. And if you're in a hurry one of these days and you say, what am I going to make for dinner? You probably already have this stuff in your freezer, in your pantry, in your refrigerator. And if not, make a run down to the store because it is really easy. It's super delicious and the whole family will love it. So if you want to learn how to make this, stay tuned and I will show you how. Now you can't tell me that does not look amazing. Cheers. To start off with in the bowl of my blender, I'm adding in three large Roma tomatoes. If you're using small, you might want to use six. One large garlic clove, teaspoon of salt and one chili chipotle you can add more if you like and a little bit of that sauce it comes with and i'm adding in two cups of water i'm going to blend this well and once that's done i am going to start cooking my meat i have my heat on a medium once the pan heats up i'm adding in the meat this ground beef will need to be smashed down so that it breaks apart easy and you can use one of these mashers and once it has browned, I'm going to add in a little bit of onion. This is about a quarter cup of onion. You can add as much or as little as you want. I diced that up and I'm going to also add in one large garlic clove diced. Just mixing that in. And after that's mixed in, I'm going to add in two carrots diced half a cup of peas, half a cup of corn. Those are from the can. The carrots are not from the can, but the peas and the corn is. You can either use fresh or you can use frozen or like me, just use canned. I'm going to mix that for three minutes and add in the sauce, a teaspoon of chicken noir and a teaspoon of oregano. And I'm also adding in there a laurel leaf going to mix this well and i'm going to cover this and just cook it for about three minutes and after three minutes i'm going to add in one and a half cups of diced potatoes going to mix that well and i'm going to cover this and finish cooking for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes i'm going to remove the laurel leaf and guess what this is absolutely done you see how easy that was looking so delicious and it's ready to serve it's ready to eat just like that my favorite way of eating this is on a tostada Topped with some lettuce, or you can also serve it this way, just in a bowl. But whatever you prefer, I hope that you enjoy. And now this picadillo is all ready. See how easy it was to make? Super easy, super simple ingredients. And what's best, it tastes so good. You can either have it in a bowl like this as a soup kind of thing or on a tostada which is my favorite so now let's try it i'm gonna take a taste test of this first it really wow it looks so good my mouth is watering mm -hmm. that definitely has great flavor and now let's have it on the tostada because I don't know. I love it on a tostada, but you can have it any way you want. Here it goes. Yeah. Yep. Either way you eat it, it's going to be so good. And that is how I make my picadillo de res. Super simple recipe. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so and click that notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. 
If you make this recipe, leave a comment below. Let me know how you liked it. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.